what happens when you die in a video game? You get a second chance, usually, another life, a fresh start, right? You respawn, you regroup with your teammates, should you have any, and you try again. Yeah, you're sent back to a checkpoint, right? Maybe a few moments before, or super annoying, way back at the beginning of an alien's lair. But then you take the journey again, right? You jump over all those bottomless pits, kill all those alien shrimp things, outrun the deluge of poisonous gels, until finally, finally, you get to face the giant beating alien heart once again. I'm talking, of course, about Contra. But what happens when you have to start over in real life? Welcome to Important Not Important. I'm Quinn Emmett, and every week, I unpack the biggest issues our world is facing today and provide action steps you can use to feel better and become more effective at building a radically better future. It's science for people who give a shit. Now, you might be wondering why we're talking about Contra today because it's not 1990. But today we're gonna reframe this concept of starting over and how you can turn a failure into an opportunity to change the world. When you die in a video game like Contra or whatever, you're taken back to this previous checkpoint that we discussed. Now you're faced with the same battles, the same obstacles, but this time you're armed with the knowledge of what lies ahead. When you need to start over in real life, you're back at the beginning, but you're not the same person as before, and this is key. The world, as we know it, is undergoing a bit of a transformation. COVID has exposed the deep-rooted cracks in our society and economy, impacting marginalized communities the most, of course. Uh, the climate crisis is no longer this distant problem, but an immediate concern, right? From increasing insurance costs, should you have any, uh, due to wildfire risks or flooding, um, to entire nations like Indonesia having to build new capital cities already due to sea level rise. And tech, AI, it's reshaping everything from how we work to how we live. The traditional office is changing, if not going away in some places. Cities are changing because we built them around these huge offices. As we navigate this new landscape, it becomes crucial to rethink how we live and work and about our relationships, how we interact with one another, from reshaping those cities intentionally to revamping large companies, um, asking them what their purpose is, what they make, what they do. Today, starting over isn't just an option. You know, it's a necessity. But what does that mean? mean. It's in these times, these kind of challenging, potentially incredible times, that we can find the opportunity to truly make a difference, as they say, right? By re-examining our specific values, our skills, what are we good at, and our passions. What are you into? We have the opportunity to actually be a part of, together, transformative change. Let's consider the words of Richard Hamming, and I'll sum it up real quick, this genius mathematician from Bell Labs. So one day he goes up to his colleagues in the lunchroom and he says to them, what are the important problems in your field? And then about a week later he said, what important problems are you working on? And finally, because he was kind of a jerk, he said, if what you're doing is not important, and if you don't think it's going to lead to something important, why are you at Bell Labs working on it? Now, annoyingly, my man Richard was right. We got all sorts of important problems and opportunities. So the question is, how are you going to help? Can you do it from your current position or job or whatever? And if the answer to that is no, what are you going to do about it? Now, for our purposes, let's assume important problems are like, what the Supreme Court say, like pornography. You'll know one when you see one. They are everywhere. The climate, uh, pandemic, social inequity, whatever. These are all critical issues that need our attention and commitment. And we need to confront them head on, start over with a fresh perspective, how can I help? And dedicate ourselves to finding innovative solutions at scale to everyone. While starting over is tough, it can suck, I have been there, but it can also be the catalyst for transformative change for you, your family, what you make, for the world. Ask yourself these questions. What do I make? Everybody makes something, even spreadsheets. What does my company make? Those might be different. Why do we make them? Do we have to make them? Do they address any of the world's problems, for good or for bad? And if not, do I want to keep making them? Use these questions to reimagine how you market yourself to companies or to start an entirely new one. Take a step back. Think about how you want to spend your time and use your skills and whether doing so means starting over. Take everything you've learned and start fresh. In, in our world, 
Faced with these transformative challenges and opportunities with a ticking clock, each of us has the potential to contribute, to change something. So make the difference. Subscribe to our channel and our newsletter by clicking the links in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and thanks for giving a shit.